right man, go right knowledge. More than two years ago, I was invited into a meeting, a meeting where discussions were held about the possibility of launching a local right wing party. At the time, it looked like a difficulty. Together with the private sector, the National Road Safety Authority, the Ministry of Transport, and officials from the office of the Vice President. What Excellency Dr. Bamu Domia, Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Honorable Ministers of State here, the National Vice Chairman, who is present here, but the, our Chairman is a bit uh, incapacitated. Also, office a remarkable low commission rate of just 10%, which is the most competitive in the market. Additionally, we are committing 1% of our earnings to the driver's welfare and its needs, which will provide vital support for all drivers and their families. This new app is just the beginning, and I believe we will work together to enhance a better future for our operations on the go ride. We keep our money within Ghana, contributing to our economy and empowering our drivers. When we support local solutions, we not only help individual drivers to strive, but also strengthen our national economy. Every right taken through Go Right today contributes to job creation, infrastructure, development, and overall prosperity of our communities. Let us all come together and make this new idea a success. This is for Ghana and it's for us all. Let's work hand in hand and ensure that Go Right becomes a symbol of unity and progress. All of you might have heard the assurance each time we have had the chance to meet her. His Excellency the Vice President is that this is our problem and that foreign companies are not bringing the work living home as uh, uh, operators. I showed us already and have even made it known in other in other areas of uh campaigns that he's what the drivers meet. Once the drivers meet then he will to keep it. <laughs> and that is why in less than some sort of men get able to develop this app and that it is going to work. service the need and cry that we have gone to him. No instance, GPF will never forget of him. GPF will always and do that. The first thing you have done that have set up a record in GPF that can now be changed or erased yeah. is that we have never held a conference for the period right on to uh, 1982 and then a certain vice president will come and address the patient. This is the first time. Oh. And it is difficult for us to forget about this. Very difficult. So, if anybody really now don't even understand the way it's possible, today you should know yeah. that any idea yeah. is possible. On this note, we thank all of you for having this occasion and having me. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the General Secretary of GDI of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. It's ministers.
Bay of Accra. Let me mention specifically that I'm highly supported by my boss, Deputy Minister for Transport. Sir, good morning. Good afternoon. The media, the leadership of all transport operators who are here. Me? Maminga Boy. Your Excellency, I remember one day called me to your office, you sat one on one, and you challenged me that myself and my team should do well to drive this whole project to a day where you will launch it. Today is the day. Okay. And your able executives. Get you go. Now he is one man when we started this project, when all of us, including the Secretary General of the GPRT, we thought this is an illusion, it's not something that is possible. The drive, the energy that you got to bear converted anybody who was in doubt. Today, this has become a reality. When they say it is not possible, they say it is possible. When the man is forced apart, it is the choice between competence and mediocrity. Now we are putting up a man who is an embodiment of the difference between night and day, as far as his opponent is concerned. There's no body ever ascending to the office of the president in Ghana who is more prepared than this person I'm going to introduce. Never have we had an individual go through the rigors as running mates, as vice presidents, and now the leading candidates to, to set up a new government on 7th January 2025, Isha Allah. We have a man who is ready now for the elections. I'm not waiting for him to start the When others thought that they had won the elections, today they are asking for coup d'etat. If you know you have won the election, you will not be asking for coup d'etat. This man is very clear in his mind. As digital as it is, we are ready with whatever numbers that we are scientifically getting from every constituency. And when he says that by midnight of 7th December, they will run into the rooms, he missed it. Let's welcome the El Dorado, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Honorable Yao, I say to you, Minister for Education, Honorable Joseph Kudu, Minister for Public Enterprises, Honorable Hassan Tampuli, Deputy Transport Minister, and my campaign manager for this occasion, <laughs> Engineer David Adonte. Acting Director General of the Natural, National Road Safety Authority, Honorable Elizabeth Saki, it's the Ministry for Transport, the National Road Safety Authority, the GPRTU, Transport for Ghana, for putting this all together. I mean, when you come to an occasion like this, 
uh, you sometimes forget all the hard work that so many different people have put in to get us to this. Today marks a significant milestone in our journey towards a more equitable and prosperous Ghana. It is with immense pride that I stand before you to unveil when the speech is over the Go Ride, a revolutionary ride hailing app born from a strategic partnership, private public partnership, to transform Ghana's transport sector for the better. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ghana card, the digital address system, mobile money interoperability, and Ghana.gov are foundational enablers in our effort to maximize the potential of digital technologies in Ghana's transformation. Now what we should all um, put our minds to is that the whole digital strategy that we have been implementing has got the private sector right at the core of it. We did not really want it to be a government-led effort uh, because the private sector really is the key and they make things work. When, things, when they make money, things work. Uh, and that is what we have been trying, uh, the philosophy, uh, is to get the private sector to drive the digitalization process because they have an interest in making things work. So all the key things we have done uh, in Ghana, the Ghana card, the digital address system and so on, Ghana.gov, all of have been driven by the private sector. It's the private sector that is driving all of these. And so we come to Go Ride, and as many of you know, our local drivers have faced immense challenges, particularly with high commission rates imposed by existing ride hailing platforms. This has not only strained their earnings, but also threatened their livelihoods. Today, we hopefully put an end to that struggle. Go Ride is not just another app. It represents a bold commitment to upgrade the trade of our local drivers, particularly those associated with the GPRTU. With a competitive commission rate of just 10%, our drivers are being empowered to retain more of their hard-earned money, allowing them to improve their financial stability and support their families. This is about restoring dignity to our drivers and ensuring they thrive. This initiative reflects our government's unwavering dedication to supporting local businesses and driving economic growth. By keeping the profits generated by GoRide within our borders, we are conserving foreign exchange, fostering local wealth creation, and enhancing our national economy. Every ride taken on GoRide contributes directly to Ghana's development, helping to build a sustainable future for all of us. And it is very important for sometimes some people don't even understand the link between digitalization and the economy. Um, and this is where you are seeing that you are looking at a whole economy behind the transport sector and you're trying to grow it. Go Ride is a testament to our vision for digital transformation of Ghana. We are harnessing the power of technology to create a seamless, efficient, and transparent ride hailing experience. This Go Ride app integrates digital payments through Tap and Go, a local payment platform designed for ease and security. Tap and Go enables drivers and passengers to transact quickly 
and efficiently ensuring a smooth and hassle-free experience. This integration not only enhances customer satisfaction, but also supports our local fintech ecosystem, reinforcing our commitment to homegrown solutions. Moreover, ladies and gentlemen, the economic impact of GoRide is far-reaching. This initiative will create jobs not only for those behind the wheel, but also across related sectors such as vehicle maintenance, banking, insurance, and customer support. By fostering a vibrant digital ecosystem around the, our transport industry, we are strengthening our economy and providing new opportunities for countless Ghanaians. Each job created is a step toward reducing unemployment and enhancing the standard of living of our citizens. I want to emphasize the importance of financial inclusion. GoRide's digital platform powered by Tap and Go allows our drivers to enter a form, the formal financial system, unlocking access to essential services like loans and insurance. This shift from a cash-based to a digitalized system promotes financial security and opens the doors for economic advancement. By integrating our drivers into the formal economy, we are not just providing them with a platform to enhance, uh, to earn, but also empowering them to build wealth and secure their futures. As we launch this initiative, let us also consider its broader societal impacts. GoRide will help bridge the gap between the formal and informal sectors of our economy by creating a more inclusive and equitable transport system. We must support our local drivers and ensure they are not left behind as our economy digitalizes and modernizes. The future we have envisioned is what has become a reality today. This is about leveling the playing field. In closing, let us celebrate this new chapter for Ghana's transport sector. Go Ride is a symbol of empowerment, innovation, and local pride. It embodies our commitment to harnessing technology for inclusive development ensuring that our drivers thrive in the digital economy and paving the way for a brighter future for Ghanaians. What is clear to me and has been clear to me for a long time now is that Ghana has that capacity. We have very brilliant minds in the tech space we, who, who can compete with any country in the world. The, our our um, IT people are amongst the best that you can find. And so I had no doubt that we could have a right ailing app that is going to compete with the Ubers and the Bulls and the Yangos very, very, very clearly. I knew our people could do it right from the beginning. And so when we started this journey, I had that confidence. And I've had that confidence not just about the go right now. but everything. You've seen that if you look at everything we have done in the digital space, we have used local IT firms to do it. The Ghana card, the digital address, Ghana.gov, e-pharmacy, all of those digital applications that we have launched. These are all Ghanaian IT players who are competing at the highest levels globally. So I am very, very confident in our uh, IT capacity to come up with these apps. But I want you to, I want to share some data with you uh, to put this in perspective, you know, because sometimes people don't quite get what we are doing. Say, so, oh, Vice President is launching an app. You know, it's sort of like an app. What has that got to do with the economy? 
Then you look at a company like Uber, which is an app for trans ride here, right? What is the value of Uber? I checked yesterday the most recent value for Uber, this app. That is $163 billion. $163 billion US dollars. That's the value of Uber. What is Ghana's total GDP, the total value of our economy? Ghana. What is Ghana? $75 billion. The total value of Ghana's economy. $75 billion. US dollars. Uber one company has a value of $163 billion. Twice the whole of Ghana is called. From one app, they built a value of $163 billion. And you still don't, in this fourth industrial revolution, you must understand the link between digitalization and the economy. One app is Generating a value of 163 billion. You ask about Microsoft, which just builds apps. Microsoft, the value of Microsoft, as I yesterday, was three trillion dollars. One company, three trillion dollars. That is 40 times the value of Ghana's economy. One company building apps. Because you are in the fourth industrial revolution. If you don't join it, you're going to be left behind. This is where the world is going. Apple is worth $3.5 trillion, 46 times. Ghana's total economy. One company. Because they are building apps that we are all using. Even Airbnb, Airbnb is worth 85 billion US dollars. More than Ghana's economy. From one app, just one app that they are making the money. So as you enter the fourth industrial revolution, you are either going to be the developers of these apps or the users of these apps. And we have to make that choice. If you want to, empower your local economy and be a full participant in the fourth industrial revolution. You have to be developing many of these apps. So today, I'm very proud to be able to have played a part in, in, in getting us to this point. You know, but this is the thinking behind Ghana card, behind mobile money, interoperability, digital address, and all of that, Ghana.com, and all of that that we are doing, e -health, health and so on, that we are going to have to make sure Ghana is not left behind in this digital revolution that we are seeing. And we need to see more local empowerment in this space. We need to see more. And so what I would like to see after we launch and start using it and it gets properly embedded, we should start to export go ride to other countries like the Ubers that have been exported into Ghana. We should build that value. We should export and go into other markets, African markets, European markets, America. Let's think big. It is possible. It is possible. Let's, let's not be restricted. If they can come here, we can go there. You know, it's it's an app. You know, we, we, we can try to get usage of it. So let us think in the future. Let's make it work and let's export our technology also to Africa and beyond. As we embark on this transformative journey together, uh, let us remember it is possible. And today's launch to, to demonstrates clearly that it is possible to uplift our local drivers, create sustainable jobs, and ensure that our nation thrives through innovation and unity. Together, we can build a Ghana that is strong, resilient, and prosperous. A Ghana where our local solutions drive our growth and our communities flourish. 
Indeed, the entire nation believes Ghana deserves the number one spot for the next chapter. Together, we will make this happen as we forge on with confidence and determination. Let me once again extend my appreciation to the Ministry of Transport. Transport for Ghana, GPRTU, National Road Safety Authority, and all stakeholders for their support. Together, we have turned an idea into reality. When we first start around the table, it was just an idea. And, and it took a lot of work uh, to get everybody to believe that it was possible. And we, together, we've turned an idea into reality, leapfrogging bottlenecks in public administration and accelerating our economic transformation together. I'm happy the National Road Safety Authority is very accommodative of go right and you know we'll deal with some of the problems in line with uh, i think um, our assemblies uh, and municipal and district assemblies to make sure uh, local taxis also can go where they did not allow them to go before uh, so that we open up the space competitively uh, and i want to thank you all for your attention i'll take my seat uh, and then we can do uh, a formal launching of the app. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. The modern seamless way to get a ride with the ease and familiarity of our local taxis. With GoRide, getting around is as easy as a tap. Just request and a nearby driver is on their way. And keeping the local feel. Exciting day. And at this moment, I'm most honored and privileged to formally and officially launch the Go Ride and today for all of Ghana. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless our homeland Ghana. Great, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Let's give you a round of applause.
ya benochi ichiche fufura ye di gaka ye freno go right and no me ichiche ever boa taxi drivers make to be proud of she taxi o me ti me afa o mobile phone it is a taxi drivers of ghana o go digital this is a new media program. Fan of media fear, local taxi drivers, and that.